Welcome to Nollands, where this white lady we see at the fence is admiring her neighbor's Halloween decorations. One of the fellas comes up behind her, bing, bam, boom. She's down. He's running the other direction. Neighbors say that he was in the neighborhood asking people for a dollar or two dollars, demanding a dollar or two dollars. And when he's, he was refused, he said, he's going to get it from somebody. Don't know if he got his two dollars, but he got his little two dollars worth of enjoyment from playing the knockout game with that lady. She didn't get knocked out, but it doesn't really matter as long as you get a nice punch in. Uh, the, you know, you know the punch. It's random. It didn't hurt. She's expected to do a full recovery. All those little lies supporting the greatest lie of our generation. The hoax of black victimization. Of course, let's go to the punchline of this story. Uh, very At the very end, this could be the beginning of the story. The incident was the first time the teen had personally attacked, said the victim. But groups of teen often roam the streets of that neighborhood, uh, flipping car doors and robbing people, she said. Wow. If you talk to anybody in charge in New Orleans, they'll tell you that black people are relentless victims of relentless white racism. That's why they're always robbing people, flipping car doors, and punching white chicks in the face. Down there, that's the best way not to get the black kids angry.